Hey there Titans, in this video I'll show you how to query your files from Salesforce. Um, so what we're going to do here in this scenario, we're going to uh, look up a case and then get all the attachments, all the files that are related to it. So let's start. Um, we have a simple lookup here that looks up a case and stores the value um, in the lookup. And we have a simple section we're going to map the file name and the image that we have stored in Salesforce. All right, so let's start. Let's head over to the Salesforce integration, set get, add, add an object. Now our first object will be content document link. Now the content doc document link stores a relationship between the content document and the related object. To that content document. So we'll grab the content document link, CDL, and now our condition will be simple. We're going to pull in all the all the results. And so the condition, our condition is the linked entity ID, which in our instance is a case ID, equals to our lookup. So select the case. And our next step will be to add a child. We didn't map anything in the other object. Our next object is content document. And we're going to bring everything in again, limit by 50. And our condition will be um, content document ID, which is the, our current object in, since we're working with multiple objects, our content document link get and map it to the content document ID. So whatever um, whatever a content document ID within the content content document link that we queried before, uh, we'll get the results for. Now finally, our again we don't map anything here. Our final object here is to add a child to the content document and then finally work with our files. So we're going to call our file, which is content version and get files and our condition will be simple as content document ID equals our content document ID query and the content document ID only aside from equals I will change it to in because again we're working with multiple object and here I'm going to query all as well so I'm going to limit by 50 and now we're going to get to our mapping. So we have an image here. This is the FLD6. And we're going to map the version data to the URL. Again, you can use it however you like. You can use file uh, file viewer, etc. You can map uh, other things as well. In this instance, I'm working with images, so I'm going to map it to an image. And in the file name text, we're going to do FT custom, so we can see the file name along with the uh, extension. So we're going to do the title and then we're going to do dot and let's see file file extension. And we'll hit apply, apply and finish and let's publish this guy. We'll grab a case from Salesforce with some uh, um, attachments so we're going to look at the related. I have three images here. And I'm going to grab the case number, search it in the select the case, select it. And here is my images. And this is how it's done.